Autumn in the garden isn't just a great time to be harvesting your crops, it's also the time to be harvesting these, all of your fallen leaves. But not just to keep your garden looking tidy, this can get turned into this, a really lovely leaf mould, which for me is your garden's ultimate secret weapon. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make your own leaf mould. It's really easy, it's not going to cost you anything, and you're not going to regret it. Look how nice this stuff looks, and you can make it too. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. And welcome back to my garden in October, where autumn is in full swing. You only have to look around at the trees at the moment to see loads of glorious colours. We've got golds, we've got browns, we've got reds, we've even got shades of purple. And of course, the trees are starting to shed their leaves. And that means another job needs to be done, and that's to clear up all of these leaves, to keep the garden looking tidy, and to keep it healthy. But if you've been a subscriber to the channel for a while, you'll know that there are certain time-intensive, monotonous jobs that I don't particularly enjoy. Things like trimming hedges and cutting grass. Well, there's another job to add to that list, and it's raking leaves. So for me, one of the great things to do is to find a really good kickback that gives you a nice reward at the end of any job to get you to power through and keep going. And when it comes to clearing up all of these leaves, it's this stuff, leaf mould. So before I show you exactly how to make leaf mould, let's have a really quick chat about why it is brilliant stuff, or why I describe it as your garden's secret weapon, and why you need to be making it yourself. If you imagine any woodland, you'll know that as the leaves fall, they don't just keep piling up year after year, getting deeper and deeper, they break down. And what they break down into, is this. And leaf mould is a brilliant soil conditioner. If it keeps woodlands healthy, just think what it can do for your own garden. At the most basic level, it's organic matter that's broken down. And if you add this into your soil, either by digging it in or even just adding it as a mulch or a top dressing, it's gonna really boost the level of humus and organic content in your soil and its capability to retain moisture but it's got another really good benefit, and that's because this is jam-packed full of really good fungi. So unlike compost that breaks down bacterially, leaf mold breaks down by fungal action. And this is absolutely jam-packed with mycorrhizal fungi, which, as we know, is something that is really good for plants because they use mycorrhizal fungi to help their nutrient and their water uptake. So you can imagine that by digging this into your soil, you're really supercharging it. The other really good benefit about this is that it is essentially free. You don't have to go out and buy it, and you can collect it from what is really just waste material. So have I convinced you yet to make some? If I have, let's have a look at exactly how to make it. So to make your own leaf mold, you only need one thing fallen leaves. And that means that it's a really good jumping off point if you're new to composting, or if you're a bit daunted by what you need to do to compost in terms of getting the correct ratios of greens and browns, your carbons and your nitrogens. Instead, all you need to do is collect together all of your fallen leaves. And you can do that pretty much whatever way you like. You can rake it up if you like getting a bit of a workout. You can collect it by hand. But what I tend to use is this. My lawnmower. Well, my slightly squeaky lawnmower. And I do that for one particular reason. Once you've collected your leaves together, the ideal thing to do is to get them shredded up. The smaller the bits of leaves are, the quicker they're going to break down for you, and ultimately the finer the leaf mould you're going to have without needing to sieve it at the end. The lawnmower takes out a lot of the physical labour of collecting the leaves together, but crucially, it shreds them as well. Then what you can do is you can just empty the grass box, which is going to be full of shredded leaves, 
and get making your leaf mould. Right, now that we've got those leaves collected, the good news is that that is all of the hard work done because when it comes to actually making the leaf mould itself, that's down to mother nature and time, none of which actually require any more effort on our part. Now, one little top tip, you'll notice that when I was collecting the leaves there, there weren't that many, and that is the best way to do this. Collect early rather than leaving all of your leaves to start to pile up. In my experience, particularly if you're using a lawnmower, it does a better job if it's only lifting a light layer of leaves, and particularly when they're dry and they haven't already started to decompose, rather than leaving it all the way through the month until you have a big layer of really heavy wet leaves, it's not a good idea. Instead, just stay on top of it. It makes the job so much easier, aside from anything else, and as you collect more and more leaves, you can just keep adding them into your leaf mould pile. So we're in what is going to be a new area of the garden that I haven't shown on the channel yet, which is going to be a dedicated composting area. Don't worry, I'll be doing a full video on it in the not too distant future. So what I want to talk about is how you actually make the leaf mould, and this is really easy. All you need is a bay that you can store all of your chopped up leaves in. That can be anything. So in my case, I'm making it out of pallet wood. I haven't attached these yet, you can see how shaky they are. But basically all you need is to create some kind of bay. Pallets are brilliant because they're nice and strong and they're a good size, they'll hold plenty of leaves. But equally what works really well also is chicken wire. Get a number of bamboo sticks, drive them into the ground in an area that you're happy to make your leaf mould in. Put the chicken wire through those bamboo canes so that you have a nice bay, and then fill it with your leaves. If either of these options really aren't for you, there is another option, which is to simply use black plastic bags. I'm not a big fan of that myself, but it will work. Take your chopped up leaves, just like this, add them into a black plastic bag, add a little bit of moisture because they're going to need moisture to break down, stab the bag a few times to put some holes in it, and then just leave it somewhere out of the way for the magic to happen. But in my case, I'm going to be using this bay. So in the grass box, what we now have is a whole load of really well chopped up fallen leaves. And all I got to do is dump them in, not exactly hard work, and then leave them. Now, one thing that you want to make sure is that you don't completely cover your leaf mould pile. That's because the fungi that are going to break down your leaves need that little bit of moisture. So you want to make sure that this heap or this pile of leaves is always slightly moist. Generally, surprise, surprise, that's not a problem here in Ireland. Like for instance, when I was filming lifting the leaves, it was lovely and dry, and now it's drizzling. So they generally will stay nicely damp, but if you go through a really hot dry period, maybe just keep an eye, give the pile of leaves just a little bit of water now and then just to keep them moist and it'll help them break down. Time to interject with a second top tip. Now, if you leave all of these leaves in the bay, they will break down and turn into leaf mold completely unaided. The fungi will start to develop and will break down your leaves. However, what you can do if you want to supercharge this mix is basically add in or inoculate it with even more fungi. So to do that, what you essentially want to do is get a little section of forest floor. Now, personally, I don't recommend going into a forest or woodland and lifting that. Have a look around your garden for something that mimics that. Like for instance, in my own garden, I'll go underneath a tree and find a little bit underneath it where I'll lift some soil and some of the leaves that I haven't lifted that uh, have basically decomposed. Those are going to be jam-packed full of all of those good fungi that are going to help break this down. Take that and then you can do one of two things. You can either just break it up and crumble it through this mixture, or you can wrap it in hessian or something similar and dunk it into a bucket of water, leave it for a while, and then water that mixture 
over the top. Either way, what you're looking to do is add those fungi in and it's going to help this break down even quicker. How's that for a top tip? And then just leave the pile to do its thing. It's probably going to take between one to two years as these do start to break down, as the fungi starts to break it apart. And then when you get to that point, all you need to do is come along to your bay and start harvesting. What you'll then have is you'll have that lovely leaf mold that you can use all around your garden. But what I thought would be really cool to show you just before we finish the video is my original leaf mold pile that I started a couple of years ago just to prove that it truly is this easy. So let's go and check it out. And here it is, my pile of leaf mould collected over the last couple of years. Now when I moved into the house, it was around Halloween time two years ago, and I had an idea that I was going to start making compost as soon as possible. In fact, my good friend Liz Zorab recommends that as being one of the first things that you should do in the garden is start getting some compost going. So I built myself a pallet bay, just like the one that we've been at. But because it was autumn, the garden was full of leaves. So I started collecting them and with nowhere to put them, I dumped them here. And then last year, I just added more on top. And although the pile doesn't look massive, just check it out. So on the top is the leaf mold from last year. And you can see that even though it's only a year old, it's broken down really quite well, but it's still looking fairly rough totally usable and even more usable if it gets sieved but the real magic stuff is down below that if i dig down even deeper and start rooting around this is the stuff from two years ago it is so fine so crumbly and just Mm, perfect. You'll always hear gardeners talking about how their compost or their leaf mould smells sweet. This smells sweet. No smell of decay, totally fresh, totally lovely and just absolutely brilliant. You can imagine that getting several wheelbarrows of this stuff dug into the soil around the garden is going to be brilliant. So yes, this is a bit of a dingy corner, but look at how productive even just this little corner can be and you can totally do the same. And that truly is all you need to do, those couple of simple steps to make your own leaf mould at home. As gardeners call it, this really is black gold. It is so valuable for your gardening, whatever kind of gardening you're into. It doesn't cost you anything to make and it's really easy. You just got to work with mother nature and let her do her thing. Maybe you've made leaf mould yourself at home or maybe you haven't tried it before. Either way, leave me a comment down below because I love hearing about your experiences. And as ever, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber subscribe, what are you waiting for? And hit the bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I post my next video. And until next time, I'm gonna get out of the rain, I'm gonna get rid of this handful of leaf mold, and I'll see you again soon.